Alright, hello, welcome back Sharks, welcome back students. Uh, our next group, we are going to be having as models group, and they're going to be talking about custom fit. Um, good morning Sharks, good morning class of 18. Uh, my name is Esmeralda. Today we'll be presenting our product. Um, first, let's just, uh, let's just deep dive into uh, getting to know us. Um, and our parts of our role, and um, what we did towards the company. So, if I can just talk. <laughs> uh, how are we doing today, Sharks? Okay. Uh, all right, so my name is Michael Lucio. Uh, I am doing our product description, where we came from, who we are really, right? Uh, so, who is, what, are, what is Custom Fit, who are we? So here at Custom Fit, <laughs> Um, our mission is to bring a affordable and cost-effective ergonomic solution to the otherwise um, uncomfortable regular mouse that everybody has in their household. Um, so the inspiration for custom fit comes from the exuberant, exuberant amount of risk of pain and injuries related to the use of keyboards and mouses, um, and this is our solution. So the custom molded mouse. Um, each mouse will be designed with an individual customer in mind. Um, through the use of clay molds. Uh, this allows for us to right fit the customer um, and contour that mouse to really make an ergonomic solution um, that's comfortable for you inside your workspace, outside your workspace, wherever you really need it to be, right? And what is our process? So our customer will place their order request on our website. Um, we will then send an air drying clay molding kit to them where they will take a mold of their hand uh, they will then ship it back to us, and we will 3D scan that model. Um, then through the use of injection molding and 3D printing, we will create a mouse based on that mold that is, er that is an ergonomic fit for them, contours to their hand, and then the completed mouse will be shipped back to them at no cost. Um, and so for medical benefits, um, for the most part, uh, a lot of the problems that we see with mouse Use, heavy mouse use and heavy keyboard use is um, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, trigger finger, or gamekeeper's thumb. Uh, so a lot of this comes from when you are at your desk and you're using your mouse, you have a pronated grip, so your palm is face down and your wrist is up, which creates a lot of tension on the inside of your wrist and on the nerve in there. And that's what causes that numbness and that pain from uh, carpal tunnel. So with the, um, the aim of custom fit, is to, with that custom mold, we'll have you place your hand in a comfortable yet neutral grip on that mold. So when you give it back to us and we design that, um, design that mouse based off the mold for you, there's not going to be any supination or pronation of the wrist, which is up or down. Um, and it's leading in a neutral state that is going to be good for, uh, metal, that is safe for you to use, and it's not going to cause you any injuries like carpal tunnel. Um, and in terms of trigger finger, which is uh, the use of your, any of your fingers really um, having too much use, getting locked up, and uh, what, we, what we designed to do that is, um, with the use of the clay mold as well, we'll have the contours into the mouse buttons, so they're not going to be as hard to press, and they're going to be easier to press, and you're, by not having to use as much pressure, Therefore, you're minimizing the amount of damage that you're doing to your ligaments by repeated presses on the mouse piece. Um, in gamekeeper's thumb, that's really just however you grip your mouse. Um, and that is another reason why we're doing the custom molded grip. Um, is because of that, it's easy, it's safe, and it's effective. And now I'll hand it off to Esmeralda to talk about our competition. Hello, everyone. I'm Esmeralda. Basically, um, you might be wondering what are the barriers entering this industry. And um, obviously, we have two main um, competitors, which is Logitech, I think that's how you pronounce their name, and um, Razer. Um, these are the most commonly used ones um, in the mouse industry and gaming industry as well. Um, so um, so, um, I'm just going to start off by saying um, that we, why people would choose us is because um, 
people would choose us because we really looked into um, what would benefit the customers and we didn't just look into what we wanted inside um, the maps. We looked into uh, how, we looked into customers' complaints and they were mostly complaining how the mouse doesn't suit their palms or their hands. Um, so, for example, like this one, when I went on to Amazon, they were talking about. Um, okay, so this is actually. Um, so there was a customer who complained that his palm size was a bit uh, the mouse. Um, the. Uh, a lot with. 
And for corporate jobs, we want we want to provide, like I said, comfortability. So these are people who are on their computers all day, eight hours a day, to ten or whatever hours they work. And you can you are more prone to get carpal tunnel that way. And we want to reduce the risk of getting carpal tunnel. Same thing with elderly people because the older you get, the weaker your joints will get as well. And we want to help reduce that. And for kids in school, we want them to experience new technology and maybe even have an incentive to like give back to communities and have maybe a cheaper cost for like schools. So adding on to what I said about uh, PC gaming, uh, as long as there's going to be new games created, there's always going to be a PC, which also, which you will also need a keyboard and a mouse. PC gaming device shipments are expected to reach 61 million units worldwide by 2020, according to Statista.com. Uh, this means that people are still expecting to have more PC games or PC computers in their home, which means that having a new innovation for for a way to access the game and play the game is the same right click, left click with the mouse isn't going to cut it anymore and it, it's just not comfortable with the joints as well. And the PC gaming industry is always into new innovative tech. So if it's like, if you've ever seen the colored uh, keyboards, that's like, that's pretty new for PC gaming. People would just have colorful keyboards. It doesn't really do anything, it's just a look, but part of the, the new innovations and keyboards and not even considering the other portion of our targeted audiences, PC gamers will, will, will profit so much off of them because we're always going to be updating our product every year, updating the software and just tweaking the tech. Also adding, bringing up the price with newer hardware involved in the technology. I should ask how you guys doing. So the PC has been, um, the mouse has been around for you know very long time. It hasn't been innovated. Uh, there have been slight improvements for gaming and specific other taxes, but an all-in-one junction that can support multi-use for gaming, for corporations, for um, office use that hasn't been made yet. So. Um, as you can see, this device is very easy to make. The production will be using 3D technology to create the device. It will be less than eight components, um, and it will also have many added on features that you can add once you get the product for the device. Um, so a lot of innovation had to go. We had to find a way to actually bring the mold to people. And once the person that wanted to actually buy the product got the pull piece for the hand scanners. What happens is that they will bring it back to us, we will hand scan it, we will get the dimensions right, and then we will make the exact fit for their specific hand. As you know, mouses today aren't really that comfortable. Um, if you use it for more than four or five hours, you'll start to notice that your wrist will start to hurt. Um, and a lot of that has to do with angles, a lot of that has to do with uh, how the hand is really structured, which really meant to be on the side. So product like this that's almost slipped, uh, tilted to the side, so it has to support the rest. So price, what are we looking for in making this product? For the single unit, it will be $29.99 um, plus tax. 
for the special with any type of features you want, um, the fingerprint for uh, if you want to have like the eye actually hand so you can take a lot of teeth, you can add this user thing. Um, for the pack, or I would say the five pack, uh, five pieces in one box, it would be nine ninety nine. Um, and as you know, these uh, are very high quality. They will last you up to at least twenty five years. Um, and I mean, it's, we really put a lot of thought and faith to actually production and how basically to make this a long-lasting product rather than it just breaking and having to do short-term awards. And so we were really thinking about that. Also, we have speedy delivery for an extra $10 um, if you want radio delivery anywhere around the world. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of things that has been thought about this is that we really wanted to make the customers feel very welcome. We wanted to make them feel like they're important, that what their needs go above all and that the majority of the world we spend our energy on is customer satisfaction. Um, so finan financial obligations, as you know, this is going to take a lot of financing. These 3D printers are not easy. Uh, a single 3D printer will cost around uh, $2,500. We will need at least 15, which will be around 37500 uh, so we also need a warehouse, obviously, a renting space, um, so that we can do our business. Uh, which will be around five thousand dollars a month. We call months will be around sixty thousand um, dollars. Hand scanners, as you know, these hand scanners are not cheap. They're around two hundred dollars. But well, the good thing about them is they're actually uh, we have a producer in China that makes very, very good, high quality hand scanners, and he might be able to do that for cheaper. So we'll have to update that. But as of right now, if we're going for in the country and the hand scanners that are actually available for use within the country. They're not two hundred dollars, so we'll need twenty of them for about four thousand dollars. The workers, um, around ten workers is what we're expecting for the labor, which all we need. Um, about three thousand dollars per month. So it'll go around uh, three hundred sixty thousand dollars a month for workers. Uh, well, so we're actually pretty much is Five hundred thousand dollars to twenty five percent, and this will cover basically all of these problems that we're having right now with our product, and how we can expand, uh, hopefully to global scale, if not defeat all of our competitors. So why us? Obviously, we have a motivator to say um, we are who we are is why we win. Who we are is a company who deeply cares about your needs and basically the comfort, the performance, the need. Everybody needs a mouse. If you have a PC, you need a mouse. Even if you're using a laptop sometimes, you know, if you're running a PC goes through a that flat surface, it's not going to be comfortable. You might need a mouse for gaming if you have any like problem with uh, your hand, you need something comfortable, you need something that supports your wrist. And so overall I think we obviously not a very famous right now, we're not very you know, out there with the media support. We're hoping to use Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we're also, what we like to do is uh, go to companies like Microsoft, go to companies like Amazon. I used to work at Amazon and, and I know they do analysis for um, when you're packing your boxes, you'll need to have the dimension, you'll need to know how many products for each uh, box. So Jeff needs to do a lot of tricking, they always be using that mouse navigate through that. And so with this person working 10 hour shift I actually like find this very comfortable to have a, a mouse you can use 10 hours without getting hand fatigue. It was very um, very beneficial. So thank you.
pretty outlandish uh, keyboards now with like colors and lights and stuff. Like, have you considered kind of souping this up with some exciting features? Um, so, uh, being a custom fit, it's the product you'll be able to customize it any way you like with the added price. Um, if you want, to, if you are a fair type of security person, you really like to have your privacy wall, add a fingerprint module on it. If you're a gamer, we'll have extra buttons for like shooting, for running. You know, you can modulate. So the risk, what it is, it's, it's a custom fit. It's also very uh, adaptable to any PC, any gaming console, and it's really, really just something that you can change and configure as you like. Your logo, your um, any type of um, signature you want on it, but how much are you guys asking for now? Single yeah. pieces twenty nine nine nine. But the we're, asking, we're asking for oh. uh, five hundred thousand for twenty five percent. So you're valuing your company at two million? Well, I mean, as a company we have unlimited potential, but for now, to run this year and to expand into the more research, we will need that five hundred thousand. But if you're asking us for five hundred thousand for twenty five percent of your company, then that means you're valuing your whole company at two million. Yeah. Um, So 